We might have to get you a plastic surgeon, depending on how early rolls. What happened? Oh. Mute. I actually muted, so hello everybody and welcome Smooth. to 3.5 Dungeon Years. This is our week number 10. And I think I'm at day 13 in our adventure. And we have uh, Alex back. He's back from his trip. Hello. Which is awesome. And let's see, so... What happened in your lives, guys, this this past week? For, for me? No, well, anything interesting you want to share? Well, I've been in Germany, near Garmisch Partenkirchen, and I went around there, visited different towns, and went up mountains, saw castles. Had fun. It was fun. Nice. No internet, though. That was kind of sticky. Good to hear. Oh, let's say, forgot, forgot, forgot that happens. Uh, anybody else want to share anything with the group? I I had one of one of my lethal doses of radiation that I'm allowed at the hospital. What does that mean? Lethal. But, well, yeah, it's like a high dose of radiation that you're only allowed a certain amount of time, like an X-ray, basically, like a really strong X-ray. Uh, but you're only allowed them a certain amount of time, and it produced a perfect. 3D copy of my skull and all of the nerves and everything inside of my skull that they could spin around on the computer and they could highlight just the jaw and bring the jaw out and it was amazing. It was amazing. Nice. It was it was, it was worth it, it was it was worth the dose of radiation. That's something. Okay. Um, so then let's have a recap of what happened last week. So Nick. What happened last week? We entered the cave. <clears throat> uh, some people tried to trick our dwarf. He insists they didn't trick him. Regardless of that, the spiders attacked one way or the other. I destroyed the dwarf's lantern. 30% on purpose. <laughs> and in the end, we managed to knock unconscious wreck and continually incapacitate the target we had to cruelly kidnap and in, thanks for all this great work they didn't let us keep the corpse but anyway yeah that mm -hmm. was it they haven't killed it yet technically but yeah they're about oh, you think they'll keep it alive i don't think they're going to tickle it for very long enough but <laughs> yes it was an easy fight yeah good even for a lantern shot adept <laughs> Uh, um, can you send a random message in chat again? I, um, it, it this has Skype has a annoying thing where it rolls the underbar if there's a message that I haven't read and my camera goes down. So um, that yeah, that's basically what happened in week nine of Free from Engineers and uh, the interesting part now. So suddenly you, you guys are you guys uh, just went met arrived. And Starsong Hill, uh, at the home of the Kitiator, the elves you were doing the quest for. And I think we kind of stopped there. I don't remember you going and sleeping anywhere. And this, the interesting part is that now, all of a sudden, riding his unicorn, Cyro appears. Hello, guys. Actually, I think I was sleeping. I mean,. Like you were passed into a tree. Passed, yeah, you you were passed down, on, passed out in on the ground. <laughs> and so, one day has passed, right? One day has passed. Yeah. Okay. And I've been doing feeding courses and stuff here at the elves, right? I I gave I gave you some carrots to take the donkey. Okay, feeding donkeys, correct. No, okay. I took she unicorn's horn before it flew off as well. So, um, so yeah, he, he was doing this while you guys left. Do uh, you have anything else to tell him? Uh, obviously, what Do happened? Did they look injured a little bit? No. No, uh, I, 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 I got 6 HP of damage on me. You have a scratch in your nose. Pretty much the equivalent. <laughs> I actually look relatively injured. But he's on the ground passed out, so he, yeah. Mm. Overall, he looks kind of injured. He, he looks like shit, really, after that ride. Yeah, so how, was the, how was the cave? 
Do I know that they went to the cave? Uh, yeah. Okay. How was, Actually, how was you were it? on... You were there. Uh, at the beginning of the forest, but... Uh, we I can ignore that. Because, uh... you, you actually uh, made it to the cave, but let's ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, any of you need some healing before sleeping? Uh, no, I, I, I should recover. Fine. Does Hennessy need it while he sleeps? He could probably do with uh, something to perk him up a bit, yeah. Okay, so I just touch him and I guess medium. Okay, uh, here for medium. So you can feel free to go there. There. 21 HP. Back to full hit points. Yay! <laughs> okay. So, um, I guess you guys take quest for the night um, in the tent that Akitiado have left prepared for you. Mm -hmm. And in the morning you wake up um, from a pretty good night's rest. Um, and that's about it. What do you what do you guys do this morning? What's your plan? Uh, I'm guessing to check that everyone's uh, everyone's all right. Everyone's recovered. You know, no it, it adverse effects of uh being uh, in in the cave and everything like that, and you know, obviously being attacked by spiders, we know the poisons and stuff like that. So just check that I'm all right, and uh, check that everybody else is all right. Also, especially uh, our human friend uh, Bob that we brought back. These no, are spells, Bob seems to be okay as well, uh, and getting well looked after. I, I, I presume. Yes. He is he's out of on bed, out of duty today. Yeah, but so he's not doing anything stupid. He's not like I want to escape. I want to escape. He's he, he's quite content. No, he is quite content. Yeah, and, um, as long as long as he's quite content, then you know, Laura could just tell him to uh, to rest, save his strength, and um, when 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 he when he's feeling uh, up to strength. He can uh, maybe come and tell us a little bit more about him, where he's from and where what who the other people who was with with uh, with were, etc. Yep. Well, he and I ask one of the elves to cast detect magic on him or a cleric or something. Magic. Um. Within yeah, if yeah, yeah. I suppose Varric would know that really. really nothing. Hard. Nothing goes magic on him. Yeah, just to check that he hasn't got like something inside of him or any anything nasty like that. I don't want like a chest burst to go ah! out of him. No, nothing. Yes. It doesn't seem like there's anything magical about him. He's just a plain old simple Bob. Good. Valrak is happy with this, and uh, he goes off to look after the the donkeys, and. Um, did the person who was doing the trophy thing say how long he, he would be with them? Uh, yes, but... I think he said a couple of days, and I just gave him the spider things yesterday, so I'm... So, uh, yeah, tomorrow, you, you kind of... Yeah. It, it finishes tomorrow, from what, whenever Which you can make out. Yeah. Which reminds me, I go and collect my armors today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You collect your what? What was it? The dragon or what? It was a mithril chain shirt and breastplate. Oh yeah, plate. the mithril chain shirt. Yep, there will you, be, there, the will be di there will be discussions about this. I hope you go by yourself. So Hennessy, do you go by yourself or do you take any of your friends? I would probably go by myself and. Uh, okay. You know, so get a blacksmith. Blacksmith looks down on you. Oh, yes, I remember you. Here they are. And he weighs out the urchin shirt and the breastplate. Ah, lovely. Quite a lovely job you did there. Nice and small and me size. Enjoy them. Now I have oh, other I, I shall. matters to attend of. So, uh, you, I think you paid half of the guy, at uh, half of the price at the beginning. So you need to pay the other half now. 
Alright. Okay, um... Did you write down if it was 300 that I asked? Yep. Okay, so you remove 150 from your character sheet, and you have your mithril chin shirt and breastplate that are now small. Lovely. Okay, good. Uh, that's about it for the armors. Um, after, I guess you guys, the others to take breakfast. What else? Uh, do I'm taking breakfast. Taking what? And second breakfast. And second breakfast. And elevensies. Damn right, they're feeding me fucking grass, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you. At least um, Hennessy has all the food out of him pumped uh, yesterday, so he kind of wants more now. He's a lot more hungry now. Yes. Nice to see that the little half halfling has developed an appetite. Hey, I've oh. got one of the highest grub skills. <laughs> and I have one of the biggest bellies. <laughs> it would be good to have both of those, but then again, miracles don't happen every day. <laughs> so, um, what's happening? Um, I'm guessing you've gone for your armor after we've had breakfast, because obviously nobody would be awake. I probably go between uh, breakfast and uh, no, no, second easier. breakfast. No, no, uh, second breakfast. You got to do something in between the two. Valrak demand, demands to know where the dragon hide armor is. He doesn't. He, he doesn't even mention the new armor. He, he demands to know where the dragon hide armor is. It's in my bag. That was my trophy. Well, you offered to make an armor for me, so that of dragon, quite nice. Hi, dragon. Then you, you ruined you ruined the dra you had the dragon ruined, and, and and now you're wearing something that we found in 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 a river. In fact, no, it wasn't even a river; it was a marsh. Actually, it was a castle. But yeah, one of them was in a marsh. Yeah, it was in a marsh. Yeah. I think the breastplate was in the marsh. No, the breastplate was in the castle. So yeah, I'm wearing the thing from the marsh. Give it back. But, 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 but. All right, but don't expect to hold me to the bargain you made. I'll, 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 I'll give it to someone who appreciates it, like the donkey. You'll give the bargain to someone who appreciates it? No. Well, as long as the bargain's paying for the mage, that's good. No, 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 you still, you still have to pay for the mage in that book. Why would I do that if I'm giving back the, the, the thing that I got for the bargain? Um, have that you, sounds have like you, false have, advertisement have, right have, 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 you, have, you have you handed me the, the thing yet or not? No, I haven't. Um, but I'll right with this here. Hand it here and I'll show you why. Wait, what? Hand, hand, hand the dragon armor here and I'll, I'll, I'll show you why. That seems highly um, inappropriate. I mean, it's kind of like returning a thing and not getting your money back. It's look, look, really I'm, not... Not gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna run away with it. Look, look at how short my legs are. You, you, you'd catch me if I ran. Trust me, if I wanted to take it, I'd smash you. But just, I will, I will prove to you what, what, why the, uh, what, why the deal still must stand. If, if, if you just pass it here. I'm gonna try sense motive. Yay for skills that okay, I'm not yeah. trained in. Do a sense motive. Uh, I'm guessing this isn't gonna be GM rolled. Uh, no, really? GM rolled. You can, you can GM roll, but just put it up live. I mean, it's between you guys. Yeah. So, 13, and um, are you trying to hide your intentions? You're not trying, so what are your intentions? Describe a general feel of them. I am going to demonstrate in front of him in a non-aggressive, non-seething way. No, just what? a feeling, a feeling. It's like, I'm, uh, uh, I'm defensive, I'm offensive. I am just... being more playful at the moment. Alright, so, so he's kind of playful. 
I mean, don't get That's me right. don't get me wrong. The overall feel from the conversation is Valrak's pretty pissed off, but like he's not trying to rob you or hurt you or anything. He's just like li literally just pass it here, dude, and I'll show you why the why the why the deal needs to stand. All right. Well, then uh, Hennessy would take out the the dragon armor. Yeah. Um, Valrak takes the dragon armor and places it over his head, and probably has to squeeze his head to get into parts of it. And then it would uh, just go down to my shoulders, and um, you'd hear just from inside of the armor. This is why it still has to stand. I can't use it like this. <laughs> well, there was only enough of it to make a suit for someone my size. I it's hardly a reason. A shield, or a cloak, or or a padding for for the donkey out of this. Instead, it is something that does not even fit over my head. <laughs> well, you've got a nice helmet, then. Elves, can, uh, can elves passing around you are actually uh, stopping for a couple of seconds, and it, some are even giggling funny. at you. It's not funny. I think it's stuck. Can you, can you, can you help pull it off, please, Master Halfling? Master Halfling? <laughs> M Master Halfling. Oh. <laughs> All right. I will help to take it off of him. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, and you did it, and his hell is all messed up. Thank you. I know they wouldn't be like that anymore. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, you've worn the uh, the the armor over your head. You've made elves laugh. You have your breakfast, and you have your hero back. Yeah, and um, just to finish off the conversation, and um, I'll I'll just kind of snatch it back and just be like the fucking wizard can look after himself <laughs> and pull her off ah well at least we can agree on that okay cool so what's happening now uh check up on the spider people do you think I haven't seen them yet so yeah, yeah, go, 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 go see well. how the how the healing's going, and I, I, I'll expect it to help as well. Okay, uh, you check up on Eon Snowmantle, uh, the high priest. Um, he welcomes you warmly into his house and offers you refreshments if you have any, if you would like any. I think I just had breakfast, so I refuse politely. Okay. Um, he nods and offers you any if you want, none if you do not want. Then tells you that, uh, well, the process of healing is going to take a while. The poison is stronger in my, my son's veins. But now that we have the source of the poison, we can, uh, we can work with it. And uh, manage to find out what kind of black magic has caused my son's condition. We will cure it in a matter of days maybe one week as i said before you have my support and in the council i think that uh you are a man of your word man of honor and you deserve our help and sooner or later the threat will turn to us so <laughs> might as well do something now good to hear and i guess that's all here. Uh, does this person that we're looking at seem to be like brewing the potions or, or, or what? What sort of like? Does it seem like he's doing like medical things or alchemist things? To, uh, the high the high priest seems to be doing uh, alchemical things. And uh, if you actually look around, you'll see that he has an alchemical lab uh, set in the far side of his uh, house. But like all oh, this. This far side is basically made out of stone, out of precautionary measures you could imagine, <laughs> instead of wood. And uh, yeah, there are a couple of regions there that are currently working, uh, steam coming out, and uh, yeah, something is happening in that chemical lab at the moment. Um, I'll. Do you think? Do you think this guy is like quick, quick huddle? Do you think this guy is? Probably worth asking for stuff to help us breathe underwater. Well, we already got the three potions that help us breathe underwater. Did we get potions? Yeah, yeah, got we got potions. three potions of water breathing. 
She said she had none more. I think the biggest problem will be the fact that I can't swim. <laughs> you can't swim. No. Well, if you were, if you you were, wear, if you were wearing a, a, a real heavy set of armor, such as dragon hide, you would probably sink. Oh, good thing I'm wearing something well, light and watery. Actually, well, anyway. being able to sink while being able to breathe underwater could be useful yeah, because you could walk on the ground. So this maybe we should attach some rocks on you. Oh, I could just hold you. I don't really think you'd make me float. <laughs> but no, I, I could. It, it, I, I'll probably sink out of anybody if I if yeah, I just if, if, if I if I just if I just held him, then you could pretend <laughs> you were swimming and everything. You're like, da, da, da. you could maybe you could hey. learn you could maybe learn to swim while we're walking there. <laughs> Hey, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, but, uh, uh, yeah, I can't swim. Just a, something I thought maybe, yeah, should tell people. Besides, it gets in my mask and it's all gooey. <laughs> and it does horrible things to my hair. Have you, have you seen people's hair after they swim? It's not a pretty p picture. I okay. don't really think dwarfs have a history of <laughs> Uh, my my uncle once swam in a keg full of beer, like a giant keg, like a like a drum, but not 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 actual swimming. Yeah, but I'm sure he was drinking it at the time. Drowning in it, really, to be perfectly honest. But what a way to go! But you know, I, uh, no, I, I like he, he didn't pups. drown. They're nice, the small pints. They come in pints. Pints are good. Um. If the we, the um, high priest kind of looks at you huddling and just talking to each other, saying anything. <laughs> oh, what's happening? Like, uh, well, we were just wondering if um, y you or uh, any any anyone else um, could make us another water potion. Just uh, we we managed to get three, and uh, obviously there's four of us, and uh, it just it was it would solve a lot of complications. Uh, let me see. He goes um, through a chest and then kind of not uh, shakes his head and then goes to another chest in the chemical lab this time. Um, looks around for a bit and then brings out uh, two potions um, and he says, Well, to be honest, one of these is a water bleeding potion, I'm sure of it. And the other one's poison. I cast the tech magic and I look at those, I look at the ones we already have, which one is the same color. Uh, and he kind of tells you that the, uh, this is the problem. All three have the same reaction to a detect magic spell, or, uh. or, or both of them. And this was this is what well, basically a cursed item after it was created as a water breathing potion and I have no memory of which is which it's these are items since I was a young one when I it's first fine. made one hundred uh, years old I think actually um I'll take of, them both. The, of, of the poison would you I'll have to drink the vial for it to take effect you know or would it, would it drop? Not is this know. a sort of is this a sort of poison that you could drop on a weapon and and, and use in that way? No, this is not this is not an oil. This is truly a poison. So like yeah, an actual potion that will create the effect of poison. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, poisons you put on we'll a, a, a blade aren't necessarily oil to begin with. They can be uh, venom or. It's, uh, it's okay. Um, it's okay. It's okay. We can use the power of the unicorn. We can use my power to be immune to poison for a few hours. But what about the unicorn? What about my neutralized poison spell? But you might as well just use the unicorn. It's not going to come with us. Or is it? Can it swim? Probably. If it can swim, then it needs a potion itself. Well... Can't you just summon mm. it? You could just summon yes. it when we get to the other side. Although yes, that I might, just that, when we get to that, their uh, yeah, but that might that might attract a bit of attention. No, not really. 
Or does it appear in a puff of pink smoke? No puff, just appears. Alright, so I was going to say, because if it comes running like a porno from like Zelda, like that's going to... No, it just oh, appears. Cause all kinds of fucking difficulties. <laughs> the, the the man, the and man here comes looks... the unicorn, followed by a hundred orcs. <laughs> the, the man the looks at you again and says, the, the high priest says, um, with, the, with the potions in hand, uh, what's Zelda? Like, it's a game that we used to play back in Dwarven Territory. Ah, okay. Well, um, I'm sorry to... Uh, I, I don't want to be rude, but... I have some matters to attend to. Yes, and yes. I really I'll do need to... Um, to do, uh, do about them now. So here, I have the potions. I hope you figure out which is which. And I'm sorry I'm a... Doesn't matter. My deepest apologies if something bad happens. And he goes around and uh, kind of starts for the chemical lab. Well met! Okay. Um, uh, did you have the other water potions? Uh, I didn't. Hennessy, did you, did you have the three water potions or did we all get given one and I just completely forgot about it? I believe we were all given one. Right, I just, I just make sure that Matt goes nowhere near the two that Alex got. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep. I'll label mine somehow. Potion of water slash poison. Okay, good. And uh, yeah, you, you get get these uh, this potion and this poison. Um, okay, add it. Yeah, uh, I think so. Alexander, yes, why? Just ask. Okay, go on. Alright, is there anything else anybody else wants to do though before we strategize? About these potions, I can make myself immune to poison or anyone for a few hours, so. <laughs> you, you, the problem with them both. that. The, the, problem with that well. the problem with that, and here's just what I'm thinking is if you take the potion and, uh, you know, um, are immune to poison, and then you try breathing water, you're gonna start drowning. I drink them both. Yeah, drink them both, yeah. Fair enough. The, the only problem that might uh, ca cause is... Uh, are you, are you, when you're immune to poison, are you just immune for the hour? Or no, no. I'm are you immune, immune when the poison hits and then boom, it's it. I'm off. completely immune for the period. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, for the period. So, like, if this thing's in your bodily system, are you going to be immune after an hour, or will this okay. thing take effect? And like delayed poison, such effects are, aren't are postponed until the after duration. The creature needs not make any saving throws against poison effect, applied it during the length of the spell. Mm -hmm. I am completely immune yep. to normal poison, I guess. Yeah, I just re poison, really don't really general. don't want to have to start uh, healing you in the middle of battle because I, I can only heal things by hitting things. I have many ways to heal myself. Don't worry about it. He, call, he calls one with the Michael Jackson and he falls over and he just and then just the feet the feet just go and just <laughs> back up. <laughs> <laughs> I also remove poison from any creature with this spell, if it if it has poison in its circle system. Yeah, as no, long as you're confident, it's you taking the risk. Yeah, but yeah. Obviously, uh, I'll take the risk myself. Both in and out of character, we uh, wouldn't want to see to see harm come to you. So, um, you guys are in front of the Owen's church. What? What are we guys doing? What, where are we going after this? Hold on a second. I am able to remove poison from objects. Does that include potions? Give me the actual text. Read me the text. If you look at the spell, target creature or object up to one cubic feet per level touched. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, seems like I can do it. So I touch both potions, and I, if you see my spell list I sent you before, I have two neutralized poisons. Okay, so you use both of those, and uh, yeah, you use them. Okay, cool. 
Okay. I will need to keep those for tomorrow then. No, none of none of them changes color. Same thing. Okay. Okay. At least you know. At least you know it should be safe now. That's all. Good thinking. One, but not two. Thank goodness, Cyril, all them years in in healer school suddenly popped back into your memory, and you remembered how that spell worked. <laughs> Definitely not reading from the book. Definitely not reading your school manuals again. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Everyone revises in different ways. So, what is uh, what other three point five dungeon is doing now? So. I think we, we need to need plan to, how to. Yes, we need to strategize. Do that. Um, when we strategize. Wait, one second, I think Nick, Cam, thank you. When we strategize, we should probably do it with the elf that uh, scouted out the land because he seems to know quite a, a lot about the local area. Do you not think? Your party stands mute and says nothing. You think they are asleep? <laughs> By the way, was I present? I I I, I bang them on the toes with the uh, the boots. Uh, I don't activate the boots and just like you you know what happens when you ignore the dwarf. Yeah. Uh, should we go and uh, discuss our tactics with 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 the scouting elf? Yes. Might be a good idea. I mean, he might be able to swim. I mean, he might be able to tell us where the cave is. Okay, so you go and try and find. Um, well, my question is, where do you go and try and find him? Well, we ask around for him. Okay, um, you ask around for him, and the closest information you get is that um, he is under Kikyoaro Swift's uh, command. So. If he is somewhere, he is the one to know it. And Kikiar is, um, if you don't remember, the master hunter. Okay. We look for Kikiar then. We ask okay. around again. Uh, you have met him and know where he spends his days. Mm. Can't you know quest givers never stray far from their uh, locations? <laughs> uh, this was like quest giver actually. Then we go there. Okay, um, well, usually fine, kick here. He's uh, usually here, uh, usually here, and uh, deals with uh, a couple of problems that arise in the city, but now it seems like more or less he's protecting the borders from the uh, continuous attacks of hobgoblins and like, sightings of different monsters. Uh, he, resp he does not know where uh, he, the scout that ready here is. Well, he is might he still on be duty, or is he home free? Uh, he is. He is on duty at the moment. I do not remember his assignment. Um, but the best, the best I could do is offer you one of my other men that are currently here. Would they know what he knows well, about? The cave. I do not know the, the cave. Oh, you've been talking to Trara. Hmm, not a good decision. Trara is a mysterious one, and uh, well, I myself don't trust her. Still, she is a part of the council, and nothing will go um, if she doesn't approve it as well. The cave she's talking about, if I remember correctly from what uh, she used to tell us, it's underwater and it's directly, almost directly west from here. Uh, there's a point called the uh, Bay of Tears, and over there... By the way, can we see the map? Because I yeah. see a cave thingy. No problem. Let me just uh, move, you, move you over to the map. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna change around so people can see the same thing, so I don't need to ping into points at the same time. Ignore the red thingies, there's are markings by the party. Um, so, you are currently uh, over around here, Star Song Hill. Mm -hmm. And she says there was a little bay just to the west of Star Song Hill. Uh, he, he says, uh, Bay of Tears. 
and mm -hmm. once you enter those the, the waters and just walk in front arrows t uh, uh, eyes uh, tied into a blindfold you will be some you will somehow get there stupid stupid uh, thing to do if you ask me but that's the only way she was talking about getting inside of uh, that cave. So we have to blindfold ourselves and then walk in. Interesting. Oh, say that again. Why, why, why do we have to blindfold ourselves? I There's do not probably know. some. She was weird just saying uh, that this is uh, something that needs to be done. Uh, we have not had people, and I, for my, for one, am not too trusting of her legends. In the past, yes, some have proven um, good. We have recovered uh, many useful objects, but then again... Uh, he, he, he wants us to approach rest blindfolded. Here's an even more important no, no, no. question. Oh, I think just the last, the last steps, I think so. No, he, he, he said... Go west of here, just because yeah. I think you're not paying, you're not paying attention. All right. Uh, I, I, said, I was, I just, I, I didn't connect the dots. So he said this is the way to enter the cave, basically. Get to this bay near the water and yeah. uh, enter the waters blindfolded. Yeah. He, here's the more important question. If we're entering the waters blindfolded, how do we know when we arrive? You are asking the wrong person. I think you should talk to Tara. She is the one who knows most. This is only what I remember for her, from her continual nagging in the console that we should recover this. And why? Do we know where she lives? The library. Stays or works? I yeah, she works in the library. Uh, but yeah, I, I ask, I ask him why, why exactly doesn't he uh, trust her, and uh, I made a roll as well, tricky. You made a roll. Um, so whatever we can make out, he is being tr uh, truthful. He says, um, I do not trust her because some of her assignments went wrong or had unforeseen consequences. Like, there was a, there was a dungeon close enough from here. Old dungeon um, near West City. We used it for sewage. She said there was a magic item that we needed at the time there, but when we recovered it, only a quarter of our people came back because the nest of monsters was made around that uh, item. What so yes, kind of monsters? I do not remember. It was dozens of years ago. Big ones? More or less, our, our scouts are pretty well trained, so it, it takes something pretty big to take uh, out so many of them. Mm -hmm. Mm. But her information was just not. It wasn't well, that, incorrect. Well, it yeah. was. Like he says, he, she doesn't trust her because sometimes. Um, yeah, what she she's wants asking to achieve is too much for mm -hmm. the price and she doesn't think mm -hmm. of that uh anyway i do need to um look through, through all these reports there have been multiple sightings of uh, monsters around star song and i still hope to keep this press hidden from the enemies as much as i can so this is something hard to do i need to send out scouts and uh, make sure they don't come near I it takes a lot of my time. I I I'm afraid I cannot spend more time talking to you, my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and you are shown out by another scout there. And on the way out, he says, "If you need any help, feel free to ask any of my men. They know a point to deal about the surroundings." Oh, good. We'll probably ask for a guide to get there. Hmm. Oh, we so could we try that. Well, that too. Um, I'm just wondering if we... I mean, do you, do you want to just go for it? Or should we go and ask this crazy lady how crazy she is? <laughs> ask the crazy well, maybe talking to her a bit could be useful. 
Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, is this thing actually, like, under underground or uh, under underwater, or is it, like, here and you have to go underwater, or...? Let me insult her a few times and she will be more helpful. No, you don't insult anyone, you know how that goes. Bad bitch. <laughs> okay, so you go and talk to Tora and each other? Yes. Okay, uh, you enter again this... Um, Huge library that was uh, that seems to be built into a tree, uh, and you look for around for her. She's easily found, roaming the halls with uh, the ever-present stacks of books in front of her, uh, her unbraided hair uh, frying around, and her big grasses on her eyes. She just literally walks past you. Doesn't hey. even give you a glance. She Hello? continues on going. I follow. Okay, everybody else? We all follow. Yeah, I'll follow in signal too. file. <laughs> in a small, in a almost unbearable whisper, she says, The chickens are back, so what do they need now? Did you say chickens? Yeah. I say, did you say chickens? She doesn't respond. She continues on moving. <laughs> Stacks a couple of books into a um, in, uh, into a chest near her, and then takes we, out another. We require more information on how to cross the road and get to the other side. I will not repeat myself many times. West of here, there is. Um, you just find the water. And you go in, eyes closed. You will... Yes. No, that, that, that's where we're having the problem. How do we know when we arrive? You just move it. The whole ordeal is um, protected. The whole spellbook is protected by magic. Controlled by the spellbook. Lady, are you just bullshitting us so uh, we don't open it? <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Do we have to keep our eyes closed just to get in, or also while we're in? Just to get in, but I would suggest uh, from the legends I hear that it's a good idea to keep your eyes closed uh, in, at some points while you're in. Mm -hmm. Can you bring up the invasion map, Tricky? Uh, okay, you bring out your map from your inventory that has mm -hmm. most of the Marks now put down. Um, I'll point. Rest is that castle up at the top, isn't it? Yeah, with Sarvis yeah. next to it. Yeah. Um, I, 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 would pronouncing a dragon's name in Draconic sound different? Yes, completely. I, different. It's like saying, um, like imagine Skyrim. Remember, it's like uh, how they talk. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. it's like something that would uh, obviously be draconic, instead of saying uh, just Rexile or something like a kind of, kind of, kind of translation of the name. Um, I put it, put it down and uh, make sure that she's looking at the map. And is she looking at the map that, that I put in, pretty much in front of her? She kind of stops, looks at the map, says, uh, and shakes her head. I... Your own and, map. Yeah. Destroyed by these markings over here. Mm, yeah. Stupid hobgoblins. Their handwriting is as awful as is their language. Yeah. And I, then she I, continues on. I well, just literally before before she finishes talking, I point at Sarvis and uh, I say in Draconic that that Sarvis is here, and I want to, I I want to see if she one is. She Slightly stops, she stops in her, uh, so she stops in her tracks, looks around and with a frown at you. Do not speak that language in my library. There is one that I do not want to hear ever. And I understand. I do not know who or what Sarvet is, if that is what you wanted to know from me. But is it there? No, it is not. It is here. 
and points of uh, the uh, this map is an incorrect description of it but still it's around here so she's trying to say that it's in the lake basically not in rest yeah she's saying she's literally saying it's in the lake that's what she told you yeah does okay. does rest Nick have a and Alex put your cams somewhere where you, if you move we can see you okay thank you Nick Do, does rest have any uh, any like canal system or a river going through it that might not be detailed enough to be on this map I ask her she shakes like, his head and says, uh, not that I know of. There is the way Dungeon knew it, but uh, it doesn't have much to do with the city. And the dungeon it's far away. Uh, a, a, call it a dungeon. It was a sewage before. Um, mostly blocked off into the city now. You know, when its destruction occurred. But the outer edges of it are still enterable. They're usually monsters prefer it. Anyway, and she kind of continues on with her books and says, What have you come here for? I need to uh, attend to my business. There is much to do. Well, we, we, need, we need as much information about this as possible. And the, the two things that don't click in my mind is how you're so certain that this book is here but don't know anything about the surrounding area of the book. And I think we're pretty much unanimous on that thought. The book is there because the legends place it there, and I have done enough research to be very sure it is there. But what if the enemy have it? They wouldn't have published a book saying it or anything like that. Agreed, but I do not think the enemy have it because if they did more likely most likely you would have known or the people whose lives were ended by the use of it would know it is very it powerful in the hands of uh, the dark clerics that this red hand has lady all I know is, is when there's funny names written on this map there's usually a dragon there there might be a dragon west, but there is no water dragon in the lake itself. And she reminds you that west and the lake west is are different locations. Right. Um, I just say with I think we're wasting our time. By the way, somebody is very clicking very much. Oh, that's me. Sorry, that's FBS. Hub. Sorry, got to got to, got 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 to keep the the, uh, the the clicks up, man. The APM, the APM will go down if I stop clicking. Sorry. <laughs> I can't be like under under hundred APM in StarCraft Two, otherwise I'll have to stop. Sorry, the terrible app I do that. Yeah, no problem, no problem, don't worry. <laughs> now I have to sit like, I feel like I'm in torture, people are watching me. People are watching me, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, go on. Yeah, I think, I think what's oh, it was left chat for it is... me up as well, you bastards. Huh? It was the chat people who grasped at me up clicking. I have left already. I think there's nothing for it but to go and try blindfolding ourselves and drowning. I mean, walking through the water. <laughs> okay, before we go, I need to do some things here. Yes, that's fine. I need to find a leather thong. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I, I think are you feeling okay? It's the material component for if a we're, spell. If we're gonna go to, if it's we're gonna go for a swim, you to have to have spell? a proper thong. <laughs> <laughs> For what spell? Have you been reading uh, the wizard freedom of spell book? Movement. <laughs> <laughs> that must well, be like an old usage of the word song. That, that, there's no way that that's like, like string thing, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A string of leather. 
Not well, the, otherwise you should uh, come up with another thing. <laughs> you know, just well, the, the you go up to the better. prettiest elf you see, it's not, and it's that's, right, but, that's the song. Uh, Trust me, from someone who wears plate mail, you don't want to be wearing things like that because they chafe like fucking combat. So don't, don't uh, wear it in combat. I too. don't mean what you think I mean. I just think a string made of leather. <laughs> just hope you haven't been hanging around with the elves for too long. After I get that, I can go through. Okay, so... Um, Do I find that somewhere? Yeah, you can easily find that at a just a tanner. Okay. I get a couple. How much does it cost me? Just a couple of copper. I give it to him. I give him a silver. Okay. Um, I don't have copper. He is very happy of you giving him silver. He does not give you any change. Okay. Okay. He waves you goodbye and continues on with his business. So we head off on foot. I guess. Oh, we're going today? Can can we go tomorrow, maybe? I'm maybe just got asking. a good reason to. Yeah. So you try the thong on before you use it? <laughs> and that will probably be for you, actually. Oh, 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 oh. I like, I like this. I like this. Give me a hint, give me a hint. <laughs> Come on. Give me a hint. If, if you need... Down. if Since we're going where there's lots of water, if need be, you will not be burned. Burned? Burned? Okay. No. Oh, uh, how do you say in English? Uh, yeah, your, your movement will be impeded. Yeah, impeded. Burn? Impeded. Yeah. Burden. You will not be impeded. Burden. Burden. Yeah. Burden. Yeah. By the Burden. Mm. That word. Yes, that That's probably that sounds good because I, uh, I, I don't travel at the best of speeds on land. Exactly. That will probably help you. But I will need to sleep to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, looking at the map, how far away is it? Does it look like we would be able to sleep you... between, between the journey or...? No, like, looking at the map, it's basically a full day to and go back. Yeah. So, like... Half a day's travel. Half a day's travel, travel there. So you can right. easily make make it, like... I guess we can back. go there, then sleep, and then... Uh, the thing like, is, we don't know uh, how long we're gonna stay what, there. We don't know what's there. Yeah, we but know we don't know how long we're gonna need to stay there. Yeah, but relying on going to sleep before we get there, like the first thing that we might encounter might be something really bad, and then okay. we'll not have that. Okay. Then we do something here for the rest of the day. Okay, so you do. This would mean that this is. This would make it the fifteen. Field adventure. I'm keeping track of this uh, because this is actually important. As yeah. uh, players would know, and that's making it clear for the viewers. It is important for the what day of the adventure it is, because there is a army going around through the southern part where they are and kind of conquering everything. If we were to spend the evening on that note, asking if there was any tales of war, would we have heard any tales of the of the, of the invasion that the elves know? Or possibly the owls as well, I suppose they they, they yeah. would hear things. Yeah, you can, you can usually birds. make out. They they tell you that um, the horde has conquered Drenwyn's Ferry, and uh, but they found it. Um, Evacuated evacuations are happening uh, before its way as well. So it's a big part um, that you, you've done a great good by evacuating them. They say uh, the amount of uh, you know just the vast numbers of the horde are simply unimaginable. They can they cannot imagine they cannot remember a time, and in, in the ages past when there were so many. Dark spawns, that's how they call them all. From the Warm Smoke Mountains. Since even before the fall of the West Empire. They say in um in a couple of days. Maybe one second. Uh, maybe close to a week maximum they will be conquering Tauron next. So that's the deck, kind of like the next city over. 
Yeah. Okay. At least there's no story of dwarf massacres, so yeah. I just chill. I just continue training people like I did the the last time and uh, look after donkey, etc., etc. Okay. And uh, um, what are we just waking up at the crack of dawn, guys? Yeah. And do we do we need to arrange for somebody to take us out of the forest? I I I say yes. Do we need what? Do we need to arrange for one of these elves to take us out of the forest, etc.? No, you, you, I mean, you have an idea, well, yeah, but not much because they yeah. need to blindfold you, taking you in. I would say that we can use a guide. Yeah, I, I doubt they, we'll they go. Said that, they said that they would offer one, so. I, I doubt they'd go all the way, but. Um, I I, I ask uh, the wizard if you can organize for uh, a scout to be there in the morning. To take Wiz us, Nick, Cam again. It's. Thank you. And uh, Vara goes to bed early and gets a good night's rest. Same here. Maybe it's after a couple of pints, but definitely an earlier early bed. Oh, okay. You drink if we're, wine sorry, if we're, you did. You're gone? Uh, sorry. If we're not going today, I would like to visit the, the cleric again, who the one who was an alchemist too. Yeah. Uh, you visit the one <clears> and you knock on the door once and no response. All right. I'll knock on the door again. How much do you wait for a response? Um, I have prepared my spells, so I had no problem to come here and wait all night. <laughs> okay, so you wait, you wait. After about five minutes, he opens, like, the door opens, and his face is like, Oh, oh, you're still here. Yes, yes, please, come in, come in. I come in. Uh, and so I he jumps back to like the alchemy table. That he's literally kind of taking, uh, shaking potions and moving them around. I see that you like your job, so you might want to help me and tell me what this is. And I will give him that unknown black potion that the cleric we killed had. And I still carry with me. Yes, yes, you do. Remember what it is. I need to open the notes of what that is. Sorry. No problem, no, it's easy actually on hand. Oh, come on, PDF. Um, he nods and says, give me a couple of minutes. I, um, I need to sort out this business here. I give him a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, those couple of minutes turn into a dozen. And then half an hour, and then he finally um, stops and says, oh, okay, this is done. Sorry for the wait. So, what is this you have here? Takes it from your hand. And I left it on his table anyway. Yeah, uh, okay. He looks at it. Hmm. Interesting. And but I could really not tell you what it is. Um, I have not seen anything like this. Sorry, but my knowledge is uh, limited. I'm not a, a chemist by practice, but I am the best one that um, the town has. My, It's been a strain to create this uh, antitoxin. So. Well, what alchemic advice would you give me to find out what this is? I think the only way to find out what it is is just uh, drink it. But then again, you said a cleric? A uh, evil cleric. Mm. That was riding a manticore. Kind of looks at you with eyes wide and says, Shh, throw it away. <laughs> Whatever it is, you're not interested. That's my I opinion. Put it on my, I put it back on my robe and I thank him. He nods again, points at the door and says, um, you can go um, and kind of uh, between uh, he's stopped uh, because a couple of um, flasks start, <laughs> you know, when like water kind of goes very fast and it does a sound. Yes. And he turns around like, <clears throat> hastily and starts uh, fidgeting with the potions again. All right. Now I know I'm going to keep it. I go to sleep. Okay, go to sleep. You guys wake up in the morning. It is day 15 of your adventure. And uh, 
you can you are you going at the crack of dawn you're traveling towards it towards uh, bay of tears okay yeah um you already talked about a guide and one is waiting for you and he uh just in front of you in front of the camp Okay, so to you as you come out and uh, asks you again, uh, when do you intend to leave? Now? Yeah, as soon as possible. Oh, damn it, I got outbid by one pound and eleven pence for that, that death, death, death thing, thing, death watch collector's edition. Yeah. Carry on. Um, he nods and says, uh, yes, Master Asimar. Where does be off? Master what? Shouldn't it be mistress? The mistress, <laughs> sorry. She says mistress Asimar. So we should. Uh, yeah, we head off there. Uh, are we traveling on foot, I take it? You are traveling on foot, yes. Yep. I'm going by dwarf. By dwarf? <laughs> You're not you... going by dwarf. So he, he tries to mount you, and you, no. you you do not want him to mount you. No, no I I will let the halfling mount me. Yes, hmm. so I'm riding my mage. You you All easily, right. you easily bend over so he can mount you. I remind you before we start that it's ten gold per hour. <laughs> I, I I I never got gold. <laughs> He's a better businessman than you. <laughs> I know when to bend over. Well, we don't either. This, this, this adventure group is uh, taking a, an odd, an odd turn at this present moment in time. <laughs> Carry on, mount each other if it helps. <laughs> so yes, if he agrees to the fee, and I, I shall walk with the, the healer wearing a. All song. right, I accept. You can pay me ten gold per hour for me to ride on top of your shoulders. <laughs> this wasn't the deal. Yeah, you said ten gold per hour. You didn't say who was paying who. I just clarified. All right, I explain. Uh, I apologize for being vague, and I explain that he needs to pay that if he wants the privilege to charge a mount nah, in cane arts. All right. <laughs> then we walk. Okay, so you walk. Uh, it takes, as I said, half a day. Uh, this man brings you through the thickest of woods and out to the to wake west into a um, small bay that you know it's called the Bay of Tears. And along the way, whether you like it or not, he does uh, kind of like bramble on talking. And at a certain point, he does uh, kind of explain why it's called the Bay of Tears. Mm -hmm. And he said that uh, a ancient mage that uh, once saved the West Empire from certain damnation from Tiamat and her evil dragons died. He did what? He said evil dragons. He saved the world. He saved uh, the uh, West Empire. Oh, the West Empire from Tiamat, as in the dragon Tiamat. Yeah. Big he bad dragon. Bit bad god dragon, yeah. I make five you. headed god dragon. Uh, she she be what did you do? I I not I do not know to my mind he just fought her. Mage, big mage, ancient mage, powerful. Um I've just one heard stories of him. Fight. One does not just fight a dragon of that power. Well I'm sure that he didn't fight Tiamat, just her dragons. Some and say he, she actually he... fought. Yeah, oh, sorry. He said he. Uh, no, sorry. Did did he did he say that he lived here or that he fought here? He fought in this point here, and that he was uh, with the defeat of the dragons. Uh, he was killed as well by the poison instilled in his uh, body by the dragons before he could make it to um, back in, into the empire. Hmm. The Rest Empire. So, is the Rest Empire just this area around here? The Rest Empire was actually 
um, basically around this part in this part of the world it was the last beacon of civilization of humanity and it encumbered everything that you see on the map so hmm. let me actually move you back to the uh, map out of the book uh, this that all of this was the west empire and then it fell and the rest is history <laughs> it, is, it is indeed but where did he live um honest be me i i don't know that now when he heard legends of him i bet he had to really fucking cool shit where he lives <laughs> Bet he does, Master Griff, bet he does. And he continues on telling random stories that he remembers. Oh, I remember that! And he like, kind of continues on talking to you, even if you're not listening. Do, do we see anything, like, now? Or are we just literally traveling through? You're just jogging through, and you make it, as I said. Uh, they uh, have a day's travel, make it a bit of tears. Uh, nothing much. Uh, sandy shore of a lake. Like it's pretty still, no winds, no anything. It's it's a good um, it's a good thing to feel the warmth of the sun on your skin again, after all, all that thick forest. And that's that's about it. Well, I think we're now at a safe distance to ask: Is there something in the lick? Or is there something in rest itself? Because that crazy bitch wouldn't tell us anything. And though an honest opinion, there's only us here. Yeah. I'm not yeah. dying to bad do information. Not, do not be calling uh, Mr. Strara a... Uh, whatever you just called her. She well, uh, might be a bit... Uh, she might be a bit willy-dilly, but... Uh, she's certainly not the other thing. A bit willy-dilly. Well, I'll tell you what then. Are you coming with us to be blindfolded and walk into this thing? I... Uh... I'm not. Yeah, but when we come back from this, we'll decide whether she's a bit willy dilly or whether she's batshit crazy. Because at the point, at the moment of time, she's batshit crazy. Okay, Master Dwarf, I'll I'll give you that. But uh, there's would be oh, reports. Oh, I left the blindfolds at home as well. Oh no. There's been reports of creatures in West, but um, that's that's far away from here. Mm -hmm. By the way, today I still haven't summoned my unicorn. Okay, the I unicorn is not summoned. This is a, by the way, a hero quest. A hero quest in Free Profile actually gets a unicorn. So this is no how soon or anything he actually gets a unicorn. Mm -hmm. Did make it make it obvious? <laughs> okay, so um, you are at the Bay of Tears. What what do you do? Okay, I take. Oh. Hmm. Actually, I have a curiosity thingy. What would happen if one of us blindfolds himself, holds the hand of the other person who doesn't blindfold himself, and walks in together and walking together? I'm not blindfolding myself. Well, we can try with you and someone else who's willing to try. I am, however, walking in last. That means that you could be stuck outside. Well, if if there is a blindness thing, and I walk in and I get stuck outside while it all goes off, then it probably is the safest place to be. <laughs> well. Um, the scout interjects and says, well, I'll be waiting for you here, um, adventurers. I'll make a camp. Um, I'll wait for you two days. If you don't come back, well, I'm sorry. I'll announce the others. But you'll, you'll announce nothing of the sort. Uh, I will not then. That is. We we have done far too much for you to go back and announce that we are dead. I will not pronounce them that you then you are dead. I will uh, you, just tell if, them that you have not appeared. If we do not return, you will say that the, the last thing you saw was us in epic battle. <laughs> of which the, of, of which the outcome was not uncertain, however there were many slain. 
<laughs> he smiles and says, and if anything happens, I'm sure that dumps. your actions though now will prove to be a quite of a story. One that I might tell other people that I guide through the forest. If anything happens to them two fucking donkeys. <laughs> I'm sure uh, our men are taking good care of those donkeys, Master Dwarf. Yeah, not the donkeys I'm worried about this moment in time. <laughs> I grab Valrak by the arm and like oh! pull them. Okay. Is, this, is this the place where we've got to start swimming? Is this definitely the place? Uh, yeah. He says, this is the, this be the Bay of Tears. So where the hell do we go? Can we, can we, can we see anything? No, yeah, just normal week. Oh, Close your eyes water. and walk in. Yeah, yeah, before we go in, which direction are we going? Are we going into the middle of the lake? Is it at the side into of the lake? Into the middle of the lake. This dragon's going to be under here. You know that, don't you? Can I even fight underwater? You will be able after I cast this spell on you. Can everybody else fight underwater? Not really. Shit. <laughs> um... I will look at Alex and uh, I will say yeah, Cyril, sorry, <laughs> Cyril, sorry, and um, I will pass in the lightning gauntlets and just say these babies have uh, come in useful a couple of times. I don't think it will be very good to use this underwater. Desperate measures. I think you can keep them. I don't really want them. I can't, I, can't I, can't wear two, I can't use two at once. So. I can't. I can't wear this. I'm sorry. Right. If I scream, go and pull my gauntlets off. Uh, by the way, uh, we are. There's no way I'm having a three-round action of changing my gauntlets. <laughs> one hour and twenty minutes. Do you guys want to take a break or just continue on? Just a two-minute break to nip to the toilet. That's all I need. Yep. All right. So yeah, we'll take a two-minute break, everybody, and we'll be coming back. Uh, with more 3.5 engineers. Let's see what happens next. <laughs>